Well, Mac, last week we talked about, you know, my memory lane. Yeah. So this week we want to revisit your memory lane. So uh, tell us about that trip that you guys took um, down there in Super Bowl uh, 43. And I hear that Mike Tomlin play, plays a big role in this story. Talk to me about uh, a little bit about it. Well, Mike T plays a big role in that story because he was the head coach. And uh, you're talking about Super Bowl <laughs> 43 in Tampa where we played it against the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, uh -huh. You were in college at the time. Yeah. Um, so, Pat, you know, being around me, I have been able to, uh, you know, show you a lot of different things. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. and, and, yep. in, in high Salute. school, uh, Pat used to be with me in the clubs. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, I should have <laughs> 16 years old. Oh, hey, but man. we grow now. So, you know, <laughs> shout out to all the clubs that allow Pat to be yeah. in there with me. Uh, down uh -huh. on South Beach. But also, too, growing up, I put you in a game called Boo Ray. Yep. Right? Mm -hmm. And uh, Boo Ray is something that I consider to be the best card game ever. 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 You know, some people say Tunk, Spades, no. ID Claire, War, Uno. Boo Ray is Boo -ray. it. Is it. That's the game. Hands so, down. for us, Every road trip, every home game, during the week of practice, the preparation, we always played Boo Ray. Boo Ray was a part of who we were as right. Steelers players. And that particular ball, or that particular weekend, uh, Friday, we we switched hotels, Pat. So, you know, the week of, we stayed at a particular hotel. And then Saturday, we went to a whole nother hotel with just the team. You know, we got away from the family and the media and the friends and moved into our own hotel. So we had our routine uh, Saturday night meeting. Mike T gives a speech. We watched tape. And then we ventured off, right? Mm -hmm. So, you know, when you play the, like, the Super Bowl, it's not until 6.30 Eastern uh, on Sunday. So usually what we did was every week, we would, every night, we would go in, in James Ferrier uh, room because usually he have a suite. So we all lock up and load in his room and just fraternize, bro. We just, we just, we just chatting it up, talking trash. Mm -hmm. but, but the cars, we got cars going. We got Boo Ray. So the thing right. about Boo Ray, Pat, you know this, you only can play the max is six people. So right. you, that's the max you can have. And it's a five-game card. And the mm -hmm. dealer is the guy who's dealing out five cards. And whatever card mm -hmm. the dealer flips over, that's the particular – that's the wild. That's the trump card, right? Yep. It can be spades, heart, diamonds, clubs, anything. So at that time, man, we started a game pad around, I'll say, about 11-10, 11 11-05, something Sounds like that. Sounds about right. <laughs> man, listen, Pat. Bro, I didn't get into my room until 8.30. Mm. Pat, Sounds about right. Listen, <laughs> when I tell you that game was intense, and I tell people this all the time, that game actually, and if you remember the Arizona Cardinals Super Bowl game with Pittsburgh, it had some intense moment, intense mm -hmm. moments in that ball game. James Ferrier touchdown, Larry Fitzgerald yep. uh, touchdown when he streaked up uh, in the middle of the hash, in the middle of the football field, Santonio Holmes touchdown reception. But if you ask anybody who was in that room during that Blue Ray <laughs> game, that Boo Ray game would, might have been more intense than the actual Super Bowl. Pat, yeah. man, listen, man. It was what, so much what, what going was lost, on, man. man. What was lost, man? What was the and, biggest and, and spot I, going? And, you know, we on the podcast, we on YouTube, so I got to make sure I keep it, you know, appropriate. But let me tell you this much. It was a lot going on in that room. Guys mm -hmm. were sweating. Guys had their shirt off. Guys were nervous. <laughs> but listen, man, it was a lot going on at that table, man. I remember James Ferrier said, listen, whatever y'all boys do, Please don't say nothing to nobody. Don't don't <laughs> let this get out to nobody. And Pat, man, I remember when I got in my room, man. You know I don't cuss, but man, I cuss myself out mentally <laughs> so much. I was so tired, man. And and the crazy part about it, when we got in the, when we got to the whole, uh, to the stadium the next day, you could tell everybody who was in the room because everybody eyes were bloodshot red. Oh man, man, we ain't get no rest. It's the see, night before the Super Bowl. The night before the Super Bowl, bro. We stayed crazy. up until eight thirty a.m. Breakfast started at nine. Jeez. And you know you need to get that nourishment. You want to get some nourishment, you know, to be able to get your day going. So I need to get that nourishment. Man, I ain't, man, listen, man, I was so mad at myself, man. And and, and now we can talk about that story back because we oh, won the ball game. Man. That's but awesome, boy, man. If we would have lost, <laughs> boy, look here, man. You remember how they gave us? Uh, so did Mike T find out? I don't, I don't. I think he eventually found out because, you know, some people started telling the story left and right. So I think he might have find, found out okay. eventually. But during that ball game, man, because, you know, remember, if you look back, defensively, we, we didn't play our best game, but we played against an outstanding offense. I mean, you had mm – -hmm. you had, was hot, too. Yeah, big, think about yeah. how many Anquan. Hall of Famers was on that uh, team. Steve, Kurt Warner is already in the Hall. Edger and James, James just got in. Fitzy. Larry Fitz going to get in. Yeah. Anquan going to get in. 
So that offense Darnell was lit. Dockett, Calais Campbell. Yeah, yeah. Trevor, they, they, they had some. They had, they had some, some heavy hitters. So we didn't play our best effort, but it might have had had to do something with Boo Ray. And and listen, yeah. man, it, it, it. But listen, I'm t- that Boo Ray game was so intense. When we left and went back to Pittsburgh, people still was trying to solidify certain things based on who did what and who didn't do what. If you really? get what I'm saying. So <laughs> that memory right there is something I never forget because I've been involved in a lot of Blu ray games and I know you've been involved in a lot of Blu ray games also. Mm-hmm. But what we used to do in Pittsburgh, man, listen here, man, we, boy, we, we would get it cracking, man. <laughs>